One, two, one, two. <laughs> hey, I'm Megan Connolly. I'm a midfielder and I play for Ireland. Yeah, kind of surreal. I mean, obviously everybody wants that, like, title, everyone wants to be able to say that, but yeah, every time we're in, it's just a privilege to, to say that you're on the Irish women's team and yeah, you're fighting for a place every time you're in. Um, well, when she was young, very young, uh, she used to come to my, her older brother's training when he was like 10 and 11 and stuff, and she came along when she was, say, five and six. She started falling with the boys then, and she actually looked better than most of the boys at that stage, so she kind of progressed through the boys in college Corinthians, and you could see from then, she just had something about her, you know? She had that little spark that could go further, and I suppose she has, <laughs> so that's the way it kind of started. Yeah, it, it's it's actually amazing, you know what I mean? It, it's, it seems so long ago now when she started out, but no, you know, she's been to all the Irish camps and through the team and right up to scene, you know, and she's kind of, hopefully as we would feel, you know, stalwart in, the, in Vera's team anyway. So she's kind of ticked the boxes for the current manager and it's great because She's just a great team player and, you know, we're so proud of her and her achievements all through from back in locally in Cork, going on to Irish under 17s, 19s and now into senior and being an American, Florida State and stuff. You know, she's had such a great time with all these teams and, you know, hopefully it'll progress even more. So just dead proud, you know. I suppose as a family, we've always been, we would always loved sport, her, her sister, Nicole and Luke and, Myself and my wife Frida, we've just been so proud of Megan as she's progressed and, you know, we just wish her the best. She has to just keep working, unfortunately. It never ends. You're working you're all the time trying to do your best and to try to achieve uh, the top honours. And, you know, it's just, you know, you just her next achievement now will be trying to make the squad to go to Australia. And I'm sure she'll do her best to do that and all the other girls will try their best and wish them all luck. It's phenomenal. From starting in Corinthians at under six in street leagues to at 26 going to a World Cup, it's a dream come true. That was lovely. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I guess obviously my dad's like been there from the start, like done everything. Obviously played at College Corinthians from under six, like, and then it got to a stage where there was no like girls team. Um, and he took it upon himself to put out all these flyers, make all this thing and, and got like over a hundred girls there, which I don't think he expected that. Um, and then just made like a under 10, under 12s team. And then for the next eight, nine years, he just progressed with that team throughout, you know, went from under 12s to 14s to 16s to 18s to seniors. We're kind of the same group of girls throughout the whole years, added one or two, some girls left, like it was just always open to anyone. Um, and yeah, I guess he gave me that kind of platform to be able to kind of progress and play. Um, and yeah, he's my biggest supporter, like I always know that. 